In the arid cliffs of Bandiagra, Mali, the Dogon people gathered under the vast night sky, their eyes tracing the patterns of stars that twinkled above. Among them was an elder named Amadou, whose skin was as dark as the fertile earth of the Niger Valley and whose wisdom ran just as deep. He taught the children about the sky, spinning tales of creation and the spirits that danced among the stars. One night, he pointed his carved stick toward a bright star, Sirius, and spoke of its invisible companion, Potolo, a faint, tiny star no one could see. The children listened in awe as Amadou described how Potolo was made of a heavy metal denser than any found on Earth, and that it danced around Sirius in a silent, invisible circle. He said their ancestors had known of Potolo's existence for countless generations, long before any foreigner arrived with tales of telescopes and machines. The Dogon carved this knowledge into their sacred masks and wove it into their rituals, believing that the stars were not just distant fires but living beings guiding their destiny. Centuries later, far from the Bandiagara cliffs, European astronomers peered through their telescopes and marveled at the discovery of Sirius B, a white dwarf star invisible to the naked eye. News of this scientific breakthrough spread across the globe, yet few realized that the Dogon had mapped this hidden star long ago, guided only by ancestral memory and oral tradition. Their understanding of the cosmos was a testament to the depth of African knowledge systems, often overlooked or dismissed by the outside world. As the fire crackled and the Milky Way shimmered above, Amadou reminded the children that wisdom could be found in unexpected places and that the universe sometimes whispered its secrets to those who listen closely. The story of the Dogon and Sirius B remains a powerful reminder that ancient African civilizations had their own profound ways of seeing and understanding the universe, ways still waiting to be fully appreciated.